Hi there, my name is Robin and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I actually want to discuss a pretty epic finale to what was an absolutely wondrous trilogy for me and that is Catherine Arden's Winter Night Trilogy. The novel in question being The Winter of the Witch. Um, this, it was an absolutely roller coaster finale. I, I kept saying that the previous book um, the girl in the tower. For me, it it felt like a lot of build up, a lot of groundwork being laid. It almost felt like the first book of a duology, and not necessarily the middle book of a trilogy. In the way things um thing thing things are generally structured and laid out and written. And in this book, we get massive payoff. We get really, uh, we we get a ton of payoff. I. I think that this is probably the closest I've ever seen a trilogy come towards a combination and climax with so many different things from the previous books um, being finally revealed and discussed and, and, and reaching a, a, a pinnacle in, in the final book. Um, the only series I've seen close to this is the original Miss Bourne trilogy by Brandon Sanderson in terms of payoff. Uh, yeah, so that that ought to give you an idea. Um, but what what is the novel about? What's the basic the core plot of the novel? Well, basically, following the events of the Girl in the Tower, Moscow is being struck by disaster. People are furious and they're looking for a scapegoat. scapegoat. Enter Vasya, <laughs> naturally, um, who happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. The bear is on the loose again and causing chaos, and the Grand Prince of Moscow is being led down paths by advisors that can only end in war. Um, there's a ton of mysteries that still abound, and there is still the story of Vasya and Morosko that needs to be, that needs to come to a finale. And that's pretty much everything that's packed into this final novel. Um, with no exaggeration, I think this book is everything great about the first two books combined in one. Absolutely. My my favorite thing of the first book was absolutely Catherine Arden's writing style, that rich mythic fairy tale uh, narration style, and it makes a very triumphant return in this novel. Not for the entire thing, because not all events in this novel uh, suit that particular narration style, but the more fantastical parts, the more mythic parts, the more... Um, those, those those more richer, more epic parts of the novel do benefit a lot from that narration style. And it really ramped up the enjoyment and ramped up the excitement and ramped up the engagement in the finale as a result. Um, and we do also get a big payoff on the more historical fiction elements of the trilogy so far. With... Um, with the book eventually becoming a kind of rolling climax where we have event after event after event that occurs that just feels like payoff for the previous novels and then something will happen. It's just wild. It's just absolutely wild. Um, the fantasy element of the of the book is way more than the, than the second book. We get like a lot of the mystery of the series is finally answered. We get the backstory of Vasya's heritage and how she has the powers that she has. We get the backstory of the princess who married the prince um, in who I believe was Vasya's grandmother or, the, or basically her ancestor. Um, and we do get like a, a, a final embracement of our powers by Vasya, or a final embracement of her role in this novel, in, in this series of novels. Um, there's no more hiding, no more shirking. She makes a decision. She fully steps into that world, that more magical pagan world, 
and it, it it makes for very 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 creative very imaginative very lush reading like some of the imagery used in those parts of the the novel are some of my favorite of the entire trilogy so far um, we do get like a foreign expansion of Russian folklore of Russian mythology I only wish I was more familiar with with Russian mythology to fully appreciate a lot of the things that came up um, there are some creatures that make uh, that that make an appearance that I know are, are present in other series that are also based on Russian mythology so I know they, they, they must be significant um, I only wish I knew more and that, about about the lore behind these creatures and I'm hoping that's something I can correct I, I can learn more about in the near future because it, it, this book has kind of hooked me in that particular regard the, these books I should say not just this book um, on the more grounded historical fiction front we do see events play out um, a very specific set of events that play out um, at first I thought you know this was just a focus of how things are going but afterwards when I started kind of researching when I just started googling some of the names that were mentioned um, I found out that what Catherine Harding basically did was to present very pivotal moments in the formation of Russia in this novel obviously it's fantasy so these are highly fictionalized versions of events um, but they are they, they do play a part in the plot and how things progress and 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 eventually how the story wraps up they do play a very significant part and um and ultimately like at the end of the day this this entire exercise started as a retelling of a fairy tale and we do see a culmination of that that particular storyline between Vasian and Morosco. Um, it does follow how I suspect the fairy tale ends. Um, well, of course, this is Catherine Arden. She she presents it in a very creative her her own way that made it very enjoyable. Even though, like you you can you kind of know exactly what's gonna happen because the one thing about these all three of these novels. They always start with a, with a fairy tale, a fireside fairy tale, and that fairy tale kind of sets the tone and sets the plot, Lay, lays out, g gives you a hint of what's in store for events as the novel plays out. Um, ultimately, I think this might be the most engaging, the most captivating of all three novels, mainly because Whereas I really enjoyed the first book and, and the second book was good also but not as not as um, captivating. This one benefits from having an entire series to set that two two previous books that set it up before. We have we finally get answers to a lot of big mysteries, a lot of big hooks and a lot of big subplots that have been threading in and out of the story. We do get a final display of like the lore that's that's been slowly building and being hinted at and, and growing in the outskirts of the novel more or less um, and, and most importantly we get everything that we love about the previous two novels incorporated in one we get that rich mythic fairy tale style narration that that really captured me in the first book and we do get a lot of very significant historical fiction events from that came directly from the second book that ultimately they, they, they fused in a way that I didn't expect them to to really fuse and really work and um, it, it, it was just wonderful there, there's no other word I could think of to describe it than absolutely wonderful and that is and the, the mere fact that that's the only word I can think of that's um it, it tells me that Catherine Arden brilliantly succeeded at what at what she set out to do here because what are her fairy tales if not wonderful um so needless to say I enjoyed this trilogy I enjoyed this book 
it firmly cemented Catherine Arden as one of my favorite current active writers. Um, I saw she has a new novel coming out this year that I wasn't planning to read, but yeah, it's on the list now. I am, I am, I, I think she is going to join the ranks of a list of authors that I have that if they po if they publish their grocery list, I will read it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's something to watch out for. Um, but if you're a fan of like novels based on Russian mythology, fairy tales, retellings, just really well written fantasy, really engaging fantasy, um, just good books in general. <laughs> I recommend you check this series out. It's absolutely wonderful. It's one of the best things that I've read this year so far. Which isn't saying much given that it's only... And I, that it's pretty early in the year. But I have already read a ton of books. Um, but yeah. If you're a fan of the series. If you have thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments. And if you've made it this far. Thank you very much for watching.